It's time for our interesting stories chat with Richard Southern. And Richard, we're getting some crystal clear video from the surface of the red planet. This is exciting. What an age we live in, Erica. Full HD video from Mars. This was shot by the uh, car-sized rover that's on the Martian planet. It brought up a helicopter with it. And there, there it is, the little helicopter, Erica flying on Mars. How cool is that, Erica? That's amazing. And you got to think with the Mars's atmosphere, it's actually really difficult to get a helicopter up and, you know, scientists were able to do it. That's awesome. You're absolutely correct. Mars has a very thin atmosphere and this uh, helicopter called Ingenuity was only designed to try and take five flights. Here it is on its 54th flight. Uh, you know, the goal was to prove that, you know, you can fly in the thin Martian atmosphere. It's done that and more. You know, there is this video camera on the rover, but of course, most of the time there's really nothing in motion on the Mars planet, uh, the, the, the the red planet. So this was a, a unique opportunity, Erica, to take some video on Mars. Pretty so wild. cool to see. Okay, let's stick with the space theme. A group of astronomers are waiting for a very important message, and it could come today. Explain, Richard. They think a aliens might contact us today. No, this is not the front of the supermarket tabloid you're reading, Erica. This is real. Researchers at Stanford University in August of 1983 sent a burst of radio signals out to the cosmos. The message consisted of 13 drawings depicting the history of life on Earth, as well as our solar system, and the structure of our DNA. Now, the team predicts that around life today is the earliest point at which a response from intelligent life could arrive in that there is, you know, a star system 16.7 light years away. So it's time there's time allows for the potential aliens to have heard this and to reply. Nothing quite yet, though. Of course, the existence of extraterrestrial life has really been in the headlines in recent weeks following explosive congressional hearings on UAPs in Washington. I'm going to be staying up all night waiting to see if my <laughs> um, my phone rings from the aliens. Erica. I'm a bit skeptical. You know, text me if it happens. OK, we've all heard the saying <laughs> doing it for the gram, but perhaps some people People should take that down a notch or two. Yeah, uh, this is like TMI. I don't know. Do, uh, thankfully, we haven't seen this on our Instagrams. There is a uh, a British farm uh, where they have the sunflowers are growing, Eric, and they're asking people now, please stop taking off your clothes in the sunflower fields. The farmer here has apparently seen many, many people pull over, take off their clothes, and then take pictures of them strutting amongst the sunflowers nude. Apparently, as you say, Erica, for the Instagram, the sign they put up said, quote, reminder to all, we are a family area and to please keep your clothes on in the sunflowers, <laughs> Erica. Am I you know, missing out? Should I be in a sunflower field uh, naked, do you think? Maybe ask the farmer first. You know, we've, we've done <laughs> stories before where people are, we've, we've heard of stories where people are trampling on the sunflowers and kind of ruining it for the gram. And this is a new one, though. They're, they're getting naked and that's just a different kind of... Yikes. Annoyance, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, on that know, note, think about your sunflower photo shoot, Richard. Please. Well, yes, I'll have to have the right amount of cover because people don't need to see that, Erica. We lose our broadcast license. You know that. <laughs> we might have put that in jeopardy. <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya.